Hey everyone, Joe here. In today's On One Photo Raw tutorial, I want to show you how you can properly sharpen and denoise your landscape photos. But before we get started, check out this awesome product, Hey Shampoo. Hey Shampoo Burning Studio 21 is a versatile software to burn CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray disc. Easily create movie disc with animated menus, live shows, and audio disc. The built-in cover designer produces covers and inlays for all disc types. Burning Studio 21 features an exciting new carousel navigation menu system. Enjoy the deprogrammed menu navigation with the ability to select your favorite modules for instant access, plus new tailor-made profiles for car radios, CD changers, and mobile storage media. Learn more and download your free trial by clicking the link in the description below. Okay everyone, well here we are in On One Photo Raw. And I have a photo here that I took in Kuala Lumpur, and it's HDR photo. And if you're familiar with HDR photos, you know they're bad about having noise, uh, even in the light areas and stuff. So if I zoom in here, you can see up here in the clouds and stuff, there is some noise. While this amount of noise isn't bad, we haven't did any sharpening to the photo yet. So if you really want to get out and pull out the details and stuff, you can see it here I'm zoomed in at, uh, one, at you know, one to one. It could use some sharpening. Okay, so how do we sharpen this and actually get it to look good? Now, if we go down here to details and we have the uh, you know, sharpening stuff here, if I turn it on, the problem is with using this, if we start cranking up, I'd like say luminance, take out the noise, then we start losing detail and everywhere else in here, like the trees and stuff. See if I turn it on and off. If you're on a good clear monitor, you know, high res monitor or something, you can probably notice when I turn it off, the trees get sharper, but noise returns in the clouds. And while this normal detail of sharpening isn't bad, here's the downfall of it is actually trying to get, you know, the sharpening stuff where you want it without affecting the areas that you don't want it. And we can see here, just cranking it up, it just looks bad. If we pull out the, where the details and stuff are in the, you know, the trees and stuff, they start to look blotchy because the way it's adding noise reduction. If we reduce the noise reduction, then we have, and then we have uh, even more noise and stuff in the clouds and stuff. This is a problem. <laughs> so there's a way around that. Now, while this right here, the details is good for the most part, it really likes the fine detail you really want to actually, you know, sharpen the areas that you won't sharpen and denoise the areas that you won't denoise without affecting both. So this is basically your generic go-to, but we're not going to use it. We're going to go over here to effects and I'm going to add two different filters here. One, I'm going to add the sharpening filter. Go ahead and add that one and turn it off. And I'm going to go ahead and add my denoising filter or noise reduction. Here we go. And we add that one. Okay. Wonderful. Now I'm going to turn noise reduction off first and let's go back to sharpening here. Okay, let's turn it on here. Now, on the sharpening stuff, you can see we start cranking it up like just before. We start pulling out the details and stuff here and like the, the trees, the buildings, the background. But man, that makes that sky noisy. Well, there's a way around that. All right. Now, they have a lot of different types here, like progressive, unsharp mask. And the one I'm actually going to use is actually a preset already called Amazing Detail Finder. We click on that, it sets it progressive at 100%. But as you can see, it makes the buildings and trees and stuff look just amazing. You know, kind of before and after. That looks wonderful. But the here again, it added noise to the sky. And this is the reason I use the sharpening here at this end, because we have a filter where we can remove the sharpening. So I'm going to adjust this to around 20 here. And we can see that actually reduced a lot of the noise in the sky that, you know, the sharpening stuff because the sharpening is bringing out the noise. So yeah, 20 works pretty decent there, but it's still got the, a little bit of noise in it. And that's just cause if we pull it out too much, we'll able to start pulling out the areas in here that we want the sharpening still be on. So I'm gonna pull it back to like 20. Then I'm gonna hop over here to noise reduction. Okay, let's turn this one on. They have one here called Blue Sky. I like this one. Now the blue areas here are where we're having the noise problems. So let's go ahead and click on that one. And you notice it probably didn't do much. 
it depends on the color blue it's detecting but don't worry we go down here to the little uh eyedropper here we can find the color blue we want i'm gonna pick this area right here and boom as we can see that automatically knocked out a lot of the noise and stuff in the skies so now we can actually adjust that some more and as you can see we can smooth that sky quite a bit and it doesn't add anything to actually the areas that we want is sharpening that works really wonderful so now we have all the trees and stuff and the building's really nice and sharp now i will point out about these further back trees you know because it's got a little bit of blue cast to it due to haze we do turn that on it off you will see it does affect them a little bit but with them being that far out of the out of the focal range really it's really not going to uh, matter too much and while this might, overall might not be you know that helpful to a lot of folks you know because at this resolution and stuff they're probably thinking ah, oh, it's not that bad well when you can start to print out and stuff and you know print out nice large prints it's going to become very noticeable and this is what i used uh how i actually you know sharpen my landscape photos and stuff okay everyone i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you're interested in on one photo raw do check out my affiliate links listed down in the description below and if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free, it's for you, and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.